En een hartelijke goeiemiddag ook hier van Paas de Frans, van mijzelf en Nieuwsluiten, waar die Fransen dan vanmiddag gaan proberen om geschiedenis te maken. Hulle kon nou reeds in acht toetsen hier in Frankrijk nie oorwinning oor Zuid-Afrika behaal nie, en het eindelijk nie een goeie rekord nie, terwijl anders van een al groot slaan gekry het, en die spelers, die Franse span, wat reeds hier in die tunnel onder ons gereed maak om uit te draad, spannen soos Australië, en die Zeeland het al dikwel toetsen hier verloor, Australië acht keer, die Zeeland vier keer, maar Zuid-Afrika een trotse rekord, wat vanmiddag hier verdedig moet word. Franse span wat hier uitgestap kom, die weer hier in Frankrijk, een bietje onvoorstelbaar, op die oomlik, die selfs in Skari gehul, of misschien moet ek liever sê, dat die son achter die wolke is, en naast boot aan sy span op die veldlei, die springbokspan op die veldlei, met die orkest wat ook nog hier staan, dit het gisternacht gereen hier in Parijs, en ook vroeger verochend met tussenkoses, het die sonnetje uitgekom, en dan het alweer reen geval, maak 60 jaar wat sy span op die veldlei, achterom, Amarie, en dan Gonzales en Gallard, ook die nieuwe man, Philippe Benetton, en die Franse en die springbokke op die oomlik, terwijl die orkest nog op die veld is, wat eindelijk al twee hier aan ons rechterkant staan, interessant dat Paas de Frans nie vol is nie, ons verstaan, hy kan so tussen 45 en 50.000 mense neem, daar is die Franse span, terwijl die Franse volkslied waarschijnlijk gespeeld gaan word, die Tim Lafond op rechterpleel, en dan hier achterlangs, Benetton op nummer 6 in die plek van Tordo Benazi op slot en die voorrij blij soos wat hy verlede zaterdag was. Good afternoon to everybody in South Africa. You saw the tension on the French players' faces. They really went into the first test very relaxed and they've got a big, big fright, I assure you. And so they're really very tense for this game. You saw the Springbok sh side shown up as they were playing the Martiers and they unchanged from the side that won the first test. A wonderful game for South Africa, although I'm sure you at home were very, very tense in the last 20 minutes as the French ran us ragged. But the plan is, and the game plan again, will be to try and shut them out. Talking to Nas Boerter the other day, he just said we may try and give them a big fright as we see the referee for this afternoon. Same as in the first test, Brian Kinsey and the South Africans were very happy with him. He'll be blown in his eighth test match today. And Nas was just saying we may just give the French a fright today as we do a double skip and out to the wing. So watch out for that as the Springboks win the first ball. But it's, it's all about, everybody said the French will do that, the South Africans will do this, the tactics are as follows, but it all depends on who wins the ball as Nars Puerta starts the game. Onmiddellik Benetton met onder die bal inkom, word hier Pieter Muller in Spijgergrond toe gerei, goeie tweede fase door Aubert, drie Franse Aubert met die hoogskop, Jacques Willifier onderom, vroeg in die wedstrijd, soos het in die eerste toets, Franse wat indruid, daar word een geweldige aanslag in die eerste 20 minuten verwacht, Jan Strauss het kop uitgetrek, ook Adrie Geldenhuis. Geld wat gelukkig nie, baie nat lijkt nie, ten spuite van die reen verochend. Gaat raad, wat vir hom wacht hier achter. En hom gaan kry, naast Bota, Dani Gerber, Geert Pak. Ik heb van een misverstand, bij het teruggevaal door Gaas Rijt, hij ziet een leerkollege hier aan die duskant, daar wordt teruggevaal door Sadu nie, maar uitstekende spel, door die springbokke, vannacht ingevooi, wordt in die handen gekryd door Lafon, wat van die oorkant afkom, dek het hier aan die duskant, James Small, hy gaan uit, hy probeer die bal toch in spel hou, maar die vlag is om nie, die schuil grensrechte bedeie, alles is recht, Small met die hoogskop, die springbokke moet wacht dat hy aan die kant plaas, 
Bjorn Strauss is by Obi Quartlein from Frankreich. It was a great up and under. It came out uh, down just outside the fence 22, and this is a chance for South Africa. Well, he holds with Eitel Gaardraai. Peter Muller in a lost car for Tuzizi. Last good start. Big stop for Jacques Willefeer. And he worked on Kalibau. Rechts for an ongelukkig nie. Hoe daar waar het in die handen krijgt. Bijna, bijna voor Zuid-Afrika. Ongelukkig die sprong van die bal. Wat die Franse bevoordeel het. Hoe daar waar met die blonde haren in beeld. Het is Gonzales. Wat eindelijk Argentinië toe is hier in die middel van die jaren. Als een voorheen man nou hakker is. Tian Strauss. Naast Bota. Peter Muller. Kom hier in die middelveld. Naar Dani Gerber. Op die middellijn. Dier een gaping. Zit hem op die voet. James Small jaag, Hubert valt terug, dus Dani Gerber kan het ongelukkig niet beheer nie word, sonder die bal geloop door Benetton. Oh wow, that was terrific play by the Springbok backs, and they're really now giving the French a bit of a problem, because they're confusing them, but everybody expects Nas Boerter to kick. See there, no, Dani Gerber could just not gather the ball in a crunching tackle as Benetton came. Kicking the ball superbly in practice yesterday, I think. I saw him take about eight drops at goal and he didn't miss one and that's a high, high kick as well. Hubert onder hom, krijg het weg hier naar Stapan, Bjorn Strauss wat onderskip, Adolf de Lannes bij, dit is Bjorn Strauss. Springlokke wat goed lijkt, al vat het in Frankrijk te kwart gebied in die middellijn, Pieter Muller, klein tankie, Adrian Richter, trek die oppositie, Jacques Olivier, kom nie daarbij naar van, voorbij nie swinger het binnenkant toe, goeie aanval door Zuid-Afrika. A terrific play by the South African loose forwards as Sian Strauss got that ball moving and Adolf Milan it was who did some real five but it goes deep to Sian Strauss, the French gets the first tap as Jesse Young comes away with it. This is terrific play by Benetton and he does the feed there out to St. Andre and then it is on the left wing it is St. Andre in fact the swing by cover gets there in time Benetton couldn't see to bear, pops it up to St. Andre and Andre making down with the green jerseys all around him, the referee waiting for advantage, John Strauss dives onto the ball, this is ball either to Buerta standing on the left hand side of your picture, Reese Edwards is also up there with huge punch from either of these two, it's going to be Reese Edwards, and he did it very well, Reese Edwards, is, is ball bounces back into Sardine, Sardine didn't have too much support on the outside as he pops it up now, it's going to be Arby Sheldon as he makes the catch and he does it well. Billy Hill's getting in behind the ball, it pops it up to Garth Wright, Buerta. Oh, this is a better kick by Buerta as he probes for ground, will the bounce of the ball beat the French? No, it's too bad, who's back for it? And I'm sure that he will just drop down for the 22. The French are all, always very dangerous, you saw there how Sardine had dropped back, they're very, very good at dropping back in numbers. Thanks, line, they've got St. Andre, the left wing, and uh, Lafon, the right wing, out from the open side. Willie Hills makes the tackle on Benazi, straight into the hands of Small. It was Benetton who came up very quickly now. Sardine, who's back for it, Adrian Richter read the play well. Garthright made a good tackle. Then they get it away to Hubert as Hubert shows a lot of pace and again Garth Wright gets it across for the tackle. Terrific cover by the Springbok scrum half. Knock on by the French. The referee deciding that there was no advantage to South Africa. He benut it niet. Maar nou naast Gota en soos gebruikelijk hier in Frankrijk die skare wat op kwijtie blaas en streeën en te keren gaan. Je sien ook naast Gota aan sy linkerhand verbind. Hy dit daar in Bezier, het is in sy oefening seer gemaakt, vroeger in die week nog geswel geweest, een dag al wat gelede Fakt u is fakt te sien, fakt te sien, fakt te sien, en hier is free catch en dit is Michael van South Africa what are the flags going to do? they go up, they are up in the air and South Africa, three points in the lead for a moment there was a bit of hesitation amongst the touch judges, now it's interesting the pole, the uprights in France are not that tall and the touch judges were both on the spot they always show it in read in slow motion i don't know why there was any hesitancy because that was slap bang between the uprights in die middel gewees daar was geen twyfel daar oor nie amarie wat daar indruid Hubert waits for the ball now Peno gets Peno testing jury said which for the first time in fact is Jacques Lepier who's back for it beautifully taken by him and he's made the mark the referee's called him back the referee indicating that the Springboks that time were offside from the mall and so this penalty kick to the French slap bang in front of the post. Daar het van de vierde poging of de derde poging palen toe wees en Lecroix kan met hierdie ene 
eindelijk niet een fout maakt niet. Dit is in die middel van die veld. Wel is waar een beetje afstand. Maar voor een skopper van zijn formaat wordt dit niet een groot probleem te wees nie. Zo wedstrijd we tot in hierdie stadium. Redelijk spannend verloop. Zuid-Afrika wat alle kans of twee gehad het. Gevaarlijk gelijke die Franse. Wat ook hanteer. Goed hanteer, vinnig hanteer. Die bal die werk laat doen. En nog twee keer baie goed gedrijf het. Maar Zuid-Afrika wat gebiedsvoordeel geniet. Het drie punten voorsprong het. Wat ook met hierdie skop van Lucra uitgekanseleer kan worden. The French gentleman now is put to the full test. But one cannot see that the car is going to miss it. He just pops it over. He turned away immediately. And the France are draw level with that penalty by Thierry Lacar. It's deep stand where we're now by some four spillers out. They pop it up there to Caban. And then it's a beautifully into the line by Sadonet. And now a chance for Lafond on the right wing. You reset with his under it, he couldn't make the catch back for it. His chance starts a lot of pressure on the South Africans from the Frenchman. And beautifully played by Garth Wright. His chance starts got the ball back to him. And by a good hand back here, Adrian Richter, there, you to Tian Strauss, there, under was Adrian Geldenhuis, there, in the middle. Well, we saw that uh, last week Diaz, in fact, had five shots at goal, and we only 32 minutes into the game. and Already Lacra with his fourth attempt at, at goals. So the South Africans will have to cut out those little indiscretions. Lacra who just tends to pop them over from most of just the ball striking the upright and then going in off. So the French for the first time in the game into the lead. Billy Hills with the throw out of Darby Seldon as it was. You've got the tap but the French come away with it. Pops it up to Peno. Now it's uh, sent on uh, Lacroix rather. Well, in the old days, I must say, those of you who are watching and are a bit more senior and played in the 50s and 60s and probably early in the 40s, you'd say you were killing your boys. Now, last word, uh, does a little switch to Peter Muller as he pops it up to Adrian Rutter. With James Swall just getting a little bit ahead of the ball. Val Bartman now in possession as they need to get it back to Garth Wright. Right now gets Buerta. Now the chase is on for Jacques Ulefier. Jacques Ulefier makes the run in and comes across. Comes Sardinay. No time at all for him. And Jacques Ulefier makes a brilliant tackle on him. Then it's... Oh, it was uh, the left wing St. André who got right across in cover. Hou ook die belangrijkheid van opvolg, werk en druk toepas, Jou. Ons het het nie altijd in die eerste toets gesien nie. Dit was feitelijk net die vleel wat opgegaan het om druk toe te pas. Hierdie keer was daar twee, drie sprangbokke daar. En onmiddellijk was die Franse in die moeilijkheid. Now it's good to the attacking position for South Africa. Important that Willie Hills finds his locks. Yadok Milan goes high. Nice ball down to Garth right now. Good the chance for the drop kick. What does the referee say? Three points to South Africa. The scores are level. 35 minutes gone in the first half. And Nas Wurter, drop kick number 17 in test matches. Ja, in een internationale rugby. So like hij van achter die palen. Adolf Milan met al twee hane. Garth right. Naast Bota, net buiten die kwart gebied. Kapan die storm daarop om af. Maar u sien weer hoer as wat die pale is. Naast Bota controlling the ball. Either if they're chasing it or making the catch. We saw in the first test, Rumar, who made some fantastic catches. Now it's Peno, the dummy run. And then the back line getting away. And uh, Sardinay on the outside. Said Andre couldn't make the catch. Fury said which was a chance to drive them back. Relief for South Africa. The referee will call him back for the knock-on. Like of Danny Gerber, why you better is uh, you, he had already crashed for the Rifting Prachtig, he had to come to come for the day. And he's just uh, looking for Hugh Sedwitz. He's deciding to take it himself. I think it could be an up and under. Oh, a nice little change in play there as Garth Wright gets away on the open side. A lovely little switch inside to Billy Hills, it was. Now the Springboks put in a bear under all sorts of pressure. The French are very quick to seize on any loose ball and pop it up to a supporting player. But the green jerseys came storming through good ground, won by South Africa. It looked like Nas Boer, who was going to make an effort, who was carrying it. Hubert, Peno, what up for Fontier Lecra, Reese Edwards, Bobby Quartlein, Verloor, that 
onmiddellik binnen zie wat bij je scheidsrechter wat wacht voor voordeel uitgehaald daar die Roma Hubert Lijn Tankie dus in die handen van Sint André wordt hier Willy Hills neergetrek bijna aan die doelijn die fraase wat hem so Gonzales wat het het hulle wil over die doelijn drijf uit Afrika dralen weg fraase wat lang in die licht gooi Moet hem krijgen, Uber, Beno, Le Kramer, het was hier en James Small krijgt het in die handen naar Dani Gerber, maar dit is meneer Kinsey wat gelijk hier geblaas het. Meneer Kinsey wat gelijk hier geblaas het, hy sê Suid-Afrika was aan kant. Vijf spree van de middelijn af, Dani Gerber. Nou ja, hierdie man wat lijk of hy altijd op die rechte oomlik op die rechte plek is. Well, Dani Gerber there just up a little bit too quickly on defense and was caught offside. James Small did terrific work, although the referee's whistle had already gone. Would have been a very interesting chase, this. Dani Gerber full of pace, but it's another chance for Lacroix in a very kickable position. This is great running on the blind side by the French backs. Hubert starting it up. I must say this little scrum half. Uh, Aubin Hubert is a live wire player and very, very slick with the hands. Ja, hy speel baie beter as daar in Lyon. Verlede saterdag toe hy met die gladde bal soms bykie misgetas het achter die scrum. En uh, daar bykie kritiek was op sy spel. Karel wat eerst loskakel gespeel het, hierdie Hubert. Maar nou is dit Terry Lecra. Net buiten die kwartgebied van Suid-Afrika, dit is 6 punte elk. De Kraal wat met twee geslaag het, twee ander misgeskop het. En die Franse wat vroeg in hierdie tweede helft een driepunte voorsprong kan verkry as Lucra, Terry Lucra kan slaag met hierdie stelskop. Weer eens hou hy om baie laag, maar het is aan die middel weer. En die Franse wat hulle nees is voorhou, die derde. Roma stuur oor Hubert Penau. Kom hy Menel wat om het, dan Benetton Goed verdedig, weer Suid-Afrika, Franse kry om weer Penau Dit is na Sardouni, na Lafond Word weer getrek uit vir Kaban aan die buitenkant Goed verdedig, weer Suid-Afrika, Kaban, duimig van die toelijn af Hou een bykie aan die bal vast Franse gaan daar oor En meneer Kinsey, wat is strafskot, like het my toeken Nee, dit is toch die drie, die drie wat toegeken word, Roma Vir een oomlik gelijk of hy beduie dat die Franse dag daar oor die lijn gekryp het, hier is het begin. Well, it was great driving play by the Finch, watch how Hubert just pops it up on the blind side as Benno was running. Now watch how they straighten up, the handling is absolutely superb as Lafond did up. He doesn't run for the touchdown, watch how straight he comes, makes ground in on the inside, taken on there by Caban, watch this tackling by the Springbok cover defence and then Rumar who came up very quickly, there he is number five as he seizes on the ball, managed to stay on his feet and then corkscrew his way over, referee perfectly positioned. Rumar dan met haar deur gaan, hier kom dit weer, Jacques Olivier met haar keer, maar baie goed gehard loop daar deur Sardouni en dan Caban wat hier deur kom, drie springbokke wat om grond toe rui, En as die bal daar op die grond le, is het Roma, hierdie slotvoorspeler wat by is. En hy draai en maal daar dier. En die arms is in die lucht. Frankrijk 14 punte. Suid-Afrika 6. En Terry Lucra met hierdie doelskop. Een wat in krul, tis nie pale dier, nog 2 punte by. André Rogers en Johan Spijger die twee stutte. In beeld, die kraal wat aanmoediging krijg van hierdie stuk of 35.000, 40.000 toeskouwers. Ook die hele klomp zit Afrikaanse ondersteuners, wat hier in Parijs is. Willie Hills, gezicht draad die tekens van een harde strijd voorlangs met Terry Lokra wat korrelpalen toe. So een stuk of 13 tree van die oorkantste kantlijn af, dit is reed 16-6 in die gins van die Franse. En daar die intus in die pale deur, 19-6. Terry Lecra, sy 14e punt wat hy aanteken. Quite like to see, it's much thinner. Keep your head down, swing through, he's stuck it well, has he got the distance? No, he hasn't, he had the direction. Benno has the ability to thump it back, now the running here by Lacroix, he gets the back out on the other side, going extremely well as they duck inside to Manel, Manel's very strong on his feet, he's putting the Springbok defences now, taken on by Amari, 
Omari pops it up to a bear. Look at that. Just quick handling as Benazi gets it. Fed out by Gonzalez. It's taken on by Pinoca Ban. It's Benetton who, and Sessi Yon who makes the pass. Great play by the French loose forwards. Now it's on the short side by the left wing St. Andre. He's right over from the left. In fact, he's moved on to the right. Beautiful hand by Pino. Couldn't find Manel. Now Johnny Kerber goes in, but the Springbok back line offside. That was a fantastic play by the French players as they came away. Did the switch from the, from the penalty. It just shows you that when you follow up these penalties, you really have to fan out and watch them like crazy because they counter-attack so magnificently. France wat nou in hulle element is. Goeie van hulle gebal besit voorkry. En hulle gebruik dit. That's Caban. The loose forward who's been all over the field. Very effective in the line-out as well. Thierry Lachar who's been responsible for 14 points. Well, we knew that the French wouldn't possibly have an off day like they did last week in terms of kicking at goal. Crowd now, the bands are playing, the flags are waving, they're clapping and the car makes no mistake and the French lead run into a formidable lead. Looked up to see where the French defences were. Springbok scrum under pressure, right, Werther, Muller on the dummy run in Hugh Reese Edwards coming through. Now it's James Small and Reese Edwards running for it. Mendel gets back for the French. Good attacking position for South Africa. South Africa has decided that they will have to begin hard work. They will have a great achterstand. Quite interesting that Adolf Muller on his deep second from the back of the line out. He just goes high. Brought down by Paul Bart and the French defences are quickly on to him. Right, Werther. Now Muller comes on the run and Muller gets it up to Rusta. Help from Sean Stark. So many times we've seen the French making the tackles and a Springbok going back with Hubert. Now reads the play. St. Andre in position now. Nice Werther gets across with the tackle. Peter Muller also going in now, taken on by Adolf Milan. Right. All sorts of trouble. Danny Kerber. He's got James Small on the outside. Small. And the Small just almost got on the inside there, taken by Billy Hill. Small played the ball on the ground. Goes just to make the score 22 points to 9, so it would mean that South Africa would still have to score another two goals to pull this game off. Time running out in about 11 or 12 minutes left. Michael did not score to kick this one. No problem whatsoever. French crowd don't they are going to have to move the ball around. They'll have to be very sure of their handling. Garth Wright nearly got past his man. Danny Cabell with a pump on there and it's taken on by Sardin. had run the read the play very well. In fact, it was Vias who bear pops it up to the front ranker. Damari. Watch how they get this ball back to Bear now. It's Pano to Minel. And the Caban was in the back line, but a chance for Jacques will appear as he hacks ahead. The French are getting back in it. In fact, Pinno who goes back, Jacques Willepier is right there. Can Jacques Willepier get him for a try? He must make the pass into Johnny Kever. Try number 19 for the great Springbok Centre. And as it proved to say, how Danny Gerber with the brave glimlach on his face, always like if he on the right moment, on the right place. You see, here it's going to be scored after the French has so big a miss getas that after Jacques Willepier had good opgevolgd. Pinno Dijk must have now good opgetelled here Willepier out for Reese Edwards on his right hand. Kies die binnen optie en Dani Gerber maakt geen fout langs die palen nie. Naast Bota voegt twee punten bij. Willy Vier wat hier die bal jaagt. Pino wat ook vanaf deur komt. Of Sardoni liever. Hij wordt geduikt naar die bal. Was toch Pino. En dan Willy Vier. Dani Gerber aan die binnenkant. Hij up to the mark and then takes the quick kick and then off they go. Pops it up to Pino. Testing one for Jacques Ulefier, Hugh Reese Edwards coming across the French are there in numbers as they're taken down by Galar. Now Hubert on the short side, taken on there by Marc Tessie on the captain, feeding out to Saint André. 
cover defence of South Africa stretch to the limit to run it from this position if they move the ball and start doing skip moves and everything it's very likely the defenseman can get in and make an interception Guerta now moves the ball away to Peter Muller he's made it through and he gets it inside to South now the referee get in the way of Adrian Rift who was following up counter attack by the French as Garth Wright's in all sorts of trouble he pops it up to, to Danny Herber and it was Sebastian Bias who was right up there. South Africa carried over. In Africa, where the yellow one looked on the anfall was, and the France was terugkom. It was very unfortunate for South Africa that because Sean Strauss made the catch and was running forward and then I was watching for the support and it was Rifter who ran straight into the referee which is a great scrum by France South Africa mustn't collapse his scrum it's Jesse Young who picked up at the back of the scrum couldn't quite make it over French ball again James Small just having a word with the referee saying come on that was our ball the Frenchman knocked it on but the referee deciding that it's going to be French ball French crowd now getting heavily in support of their players the French good scrum by South Africa Hubert gets it away on the short side there to Sardinay who was coming up right from the fullback position Hubert again now Peno can he get over for his third try yes he does it three times to the French fly half got past all the South African defence elusive running about three tackles he got by and I think that will wrap it up for France you see who's there who gets it away to Pena he was lying very flat he got inside one man and then another and look at how many green jerseys are there but Pena try number three for him see there come he's over after the ball Pena over there in Lyon ook twee drie gedruk het hier snij hy weer deur En is die eerste keer in die geschiedenis dat die France in de toetswedstrijd meer als twee drie tien zuid Afrika trak. Die derde in vandaag. Hubert wat hem daar uithaal, James Small boop om. Maar Pino wat je voordag daar die vlag Wright, Bartman, Pieter Miller bij hem. Maar die vijf punten is op die tel word. En Frankrijk is voor met 27-16. South Africa first played against France, Billy Miller's side in 1913 and since then we've had eight cats test matches as Christo was saying earlier. Only one drawn out of the eight, South Africa have won seven and so for the first time in history France could win this match here at the Parc de France. Only played once before at the Parc de France, it was in 1974 when South Africa won ten points to eight. Thierry Lecrae will want to finally wrap it up. The flags are up, no problem at all, 29 points to 16. And the referee's final whistle has gone. So a great day in history for South Africa as we see the slow motion as the French so want to do of that place kick. We see now that uh, Benazi has run over to the far side to get the match ball and he's put that under his jersey and secured it for himself. Well, I think... Christo, a day in which the Springbok forwards really found their numbers that the French had done extremely well. Their forwards really laid the platform for the victory. Absolute you. And the France verdien it ook with the 3 3 wat they had had. 29 points. 10 over 16. That is ook the greatest overwinning that Frankrijk nog ooit over Suid-Afrika behalde. The vorige hoogste was in 1967 in Johannesburg with 19 points. 10 over 14. There is then ook in this wedstrijd door Terry Lecrae as I so vinnig kijk, 9, 12, 15, 19 punten aangeteken, 19 punten, en dit is die tweede meeste wat de individuele speler nog in het toets tegen Zuid-Afrika aangeteken het. Ugo Porta hou die record van 21, en vandaag dan Terry Lokra hier die 19 punten, hy gaan daar bij die 18 van Tony Ward voorbij, en die vorige hoogste dier een Fransman was Jean Romeu. Uh, 13 punten in 1975. Well, the, the most points have been played by the French side against South Africa. So, for the first time in history in, in France, the Test Series is drawn. South Africa winning the last one, 20 points to 15. We are going to be at Lille next Saturday for South Africa against the French Barbarians. Look out for that one because the Barbarian side looks absolutely great. Captain by Blanco.